Well, it's an afternoon probably best suited for skating in Central Park, but we're across the river and we are in for a cold one at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the New York Giants. Three quarters of the NFL season are complete. What lurks in our final month? We're underway in week 14. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Field's going to throw right away. From the left side, it's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Field's passing on the first play from scrimmage. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he's brought down. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. So we just called his name on the previous snap, and they go right back to him, Charles, for a second consecutive completion. Yeah, I think what we're discovering on this drive is that he feels like he has answers no matter what defense you throw up there. He reads it, finds the open spot, and is available for the completion. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Excellent effort defensively by him. Two tackles for a loss last week, now one here in the first quarter. He's an absolute disruptor, isn't he? And I think most offenses would love to go against guys who just want to hold the point of attack and try and keep things clean for their linebackers. But when they make those moves and they can get upfield, past the offensive line, into the backfield, that's hard to handle. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one, and there's an example on this first possession of the game. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Field's going to hold on to it. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Line of scrimmage, again, the four-yard line, second and goal. One play action, Fields. They'll roll him out right. And he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here. Nowhere to go with it incomplete. Boy, that was locked down coverage there. He's scanning for someone to come open. That was great work to blanket everyone. And in the end, he's just got to throw it away. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Fields rolling to his right. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Justin Fields. 
his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Bears get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Santos with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. McDonald. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. Here's a second and two now from the 33. McDonald. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. You look at this Bears defense. And they find themselves just outside the top 10 in the league against the pass, currently bringing up the number 11 spot. I think if you talk to their head coach, you'll get a nice answer about how much he likes his team and what they're doing. But at the end of it, he would admit there's definitely room to improve. Check, Bobcat! Check, Bobcat! Here's McDonald to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll run for the first time with Saquon Barkley. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. The Giants at 4-8 and eight now on the year. And they come in losers of two straight, so trying to turn things around here. And you just mentioned two straight, and when you're talking about two games, that's nothing to panic about. They feel like they've been a little bit unlucky in the last couple. This is a club that's more than capable of turning things around, and I expect them to play really well here. McDonald sets to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Brings up third down and eight yards to go. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Drop 50, drop 50. Read alert, read alert. Cup 19, cup 19. Hawk 70, Hawk 70. To throw on third down, McDonald. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Now here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The 
The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And they are back down to the 500 mark after two straight losses. And Charles, this is a team that, to be frank, is their play has really dropped off the last couple of weeks. And Brandon, I think there's a sense around the building that they can't let this losing streak get any worse than it is. Because if they were to lose here and fall below 500, then you're playing catch up the rest of the way. They've got to take a stand and make it stop right now. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Play action. It's Fields. And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. Kayvon Thibodeau, he beat the old line and recorded the sack. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter. Because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Fields changing the play. Out of the gun now on third down. Throw out wide is incomplete. Well, we've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but the depth is settling in now and letting it be known the points won't come so easy again. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. This is fielded at the 27. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And it'll be giant football first and 10. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The Jalen Hyatt was the intended target, but it'll be second down. You look at this Bears defense, and they find themselves just outside the top 10 in the league against the pass, currently bringing up the number 11 spot. And since this is such a good unit of covering passes downfield, I think that last play is typical of what we might see. A lot of short passes, see if they can generate some run after the catch, but nothing doing on that one. Here's second and 10. Dragon 60. Seven Pirates, seven Pirates to throw again. McDonald. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Kyler Gordon picks it off. Well, it's not the first time we've seen him give one up here during his rookie season, and in this case, zone coverage forced the mistake. He's made some strides week to week, and he's handling the different type of coverages that he's seeing, but clearly there's some growing still to do. First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. A give. Eckler running to the right. He'll get this down to the 38. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. on first down Eckler and this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line officially it's a one yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11 an awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field but how about our defensive tackle right there he just hold the line he provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss Fields all right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. 
Picked off by Bobby Okereke. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. Well, it turns out it's not their offense who gets him on the board first, CD. It's the defense coming through right there with a pick six. And I know from experience throughout the week when you go against the offense, you're challenging them all the time. You're letting them know, hey, don't worry about scoring this week. We'll take care of it. We'll get a few pick sixes and score ourselves. You're just kidding? But how about what he just did right there? Laid it out for the rest of the game. We score. Hey, offense, can you keep up with us? Seven now as they kick it away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. the line prepping for their next drive the Bears offense now remember they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around and sometimes partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field you're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long you're not hearing everyone say oh, hey you'll get them next time hey don't worry about it all that stuff just goes right out the window you're right back out on the field with a chance to atone up the middle with Eckler. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. He came out ready to play. That's three tackles for a loss, Charles, only in the second quarter. And that's problematic for the guys trying to run offense because that means he's got a pretty good idea of what they're doing and is actually beating them to the point of attack and making those plays. We might have to think about some misdirection or something to try and get him away from the ball. But that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. A play fake, now fields to throw. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. So they take the flag and the yardage that comes with it. First down, it's Fields. This is swung out to Eckler. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back into 32. Kayvon Thibodeau. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks him backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. Finding more on the out route for the completion. And he's going to be brought down. He needed to get to the 20. But he's a yard or two short. But don't tell any defensive coordinator I played for, but that might be considered a win for both teams because defensively they stopped them short and forced the fourth down. But offensively, they picked up enough yards to get their kicker a better shot if that's what they want to do. They'll run for it with Eckler. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as he'll wind up going backwards. The Bears tried it on 
fourth down, unable to convert. Now the Giants are going to get the football back. Ready. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, their goal is not changing the book. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. You've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Okay, ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's McDonald. Pass is caught by Rondale Robinson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Second down and a little more than a yard here. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And this will be a Giants first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. On first and 10, McDonald. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. He'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. 23 yards, the final tally. That turns into a very well orchestrated play right there. Going to work his way out the backfield to the right. And after he looked it in, he found plenty of space to roll and picked up big yardage. A first down carry for Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. That's caught by Waller out left side. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little oh underneath God. route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. To Barkley on the check down. So they'll get nothing out of that play. And it's second and goal. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line. And it's second and goal now. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. This is caught. It's Robinson with a Giants touchdown. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Giants have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. So a nice touchdown pass for the rookie there. And, you know, as they go down the stretch, look, they're not a playoff team. This is just confidence building and growth time for him, right? Yeah, it's a game within the game, isn't it? Because every team wants to win all games on their schedule. But the development of this rookie quarterback is paramount for this team. So you're exactly right. Every ref, doesn't matter what the game, what the situation, what the score, valuable for him, valuable for his team as they look towards next year. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. This pass is going to wind up incomplete. Over the dime left on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the 
field have covered up essentially every blade of grass that allowed them to disrupt the play. Final shot before the break. Fields. He's going to float this one deep right side. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that. That would have been a big play. But he could not pull it in. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. A one-touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, as we get back at it on EA Sports. The fair catch taken short of the goal line, and they'll begin this third quarter at their own 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Second half begins with a run from Barkley. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. On, the last play got hey. just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Check, Mash. Check, Mash. Again, it's Barkley. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. He lost four there, and it's third down. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. So here's a third and 14. Riggs, Riggs. 65, 65. Out of the gun, McDonald. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jaquan Brisker. And the Bears are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. sense that they're saying we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone that they should now have some sense of continuity 
and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. He's going to field this at the four. A pretty good punt, but a nice 13-yard return. And it will be first and ten as they take over. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, go, and this go. time they take their man down. That huge loss on the sack yes, makes this right. job yes, much right. more difficult. It's now second down and 22 right. yards to go. Left thing, 19. Three, Lions. Hey, check that, check that. Street, street. Hurry, hurry. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. They're inching closer and closer here to the wrong goal line. When you're backed up like that, all you're trying to do is make sure you don't give up a big play, right? You don't miss an assignment that really gets you into more trouble. Trap 50, trap 50. Cup 19, cup 19. Dragon 60. to throw on second down McDonald and this will be caught it's Isaiah Hodgins they get 14 yards but not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty Barney sold the go route really well thought he was going deep then curled it back inside for a nice completion DBs love when they pump the brakes don't they yeah that's really that's really a whole lot cool. of fun it's almost like you said listen if you're gonna sell the go just go and let's see who's faster Seven Pirates! Seven Pirates! 18, Pioneer! 19, Lions! Ready. On third down, McDonald. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. And it'll be first and goal at the seven-yard line. A defensive-minded coach loves to bring the heat, brought the heat there, and it worked out. And nowadays, all those defensive... Mi and now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. On oh, the return is Sims. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And it'll be a short field for the Bears as they take over first and 10. Fields on first down. As he throws there incomplete. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been any. This defense has been all over. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. This now a third and four. Now Fields. He's got his 
target. That's complete. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. 23 yards on the play. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Eckler now between the tackles. And this Giants defense getting off the ball quickly. They stop him behind the line again. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. They'll come up now third and three. Fields now to throw. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. No gain on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Here we go. And no move to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're going to go again here on fourth down. They snap it to Fields. And they hit him as he throws. As this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. The Bears tried it on fourth down. Unable to convert. And the Giants are going to get the football back. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And he'll be taken down after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter of play. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports.
Set. Set. What is it? What is that?